Hello. Welcome to this service of thanksgiving and remembrance. This service in which we at Black Hall St Columbus take a moment out of our day to remember that today, Friday the 8th of May 2020, is the 75th anniversary of VE Day, victory in Europe during the Second World War. Although there was much to celebrate that day 75 years ago, the war was not over. The war continued in the East. The celebrations then were tempered. They were tempered with the knowledge of an ongoing war. Just as today our service of thanksgiving and remembrance is tempered. It's tempered by our inability to gather together. It's tempered by our inability to use our church buildings. And the knowledge for that for us too, the war against coronavirus still continues. So in keeping with that day 75 years ago, today we give thanks for where we are, whilst we continue to look with a degree of uncertainty towards the future. One thing we can be confident of, though, is that now, as with then, we can be sure of the presence of God and his love for all. Grace, mercy and peace from our God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with us all. Let us offer our thanksgiving to Almighty God for the victory achieved on land, at sea and in the air, and for the liberation of so many. For the liberation from the cruelty of occupation and oppression. Let us give thanks for the heroism and the courage of those who served in the armed services, who worked in the home front and in civil defence, hospitals and relief agencies, in factories, shops and farms. And let us pray for those who endured captivity, torture or death, that others might be free. The psalmist writes, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High and abides under the shadow of the Almighty shall say to the Lord, My refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. As we gather today as God's family, let us ask forgiveness from our Heavenly Father, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and we repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation through Jesus Christ our Lord. And may the Father of all mercies cleanse us from our sins and restore us in his image to the praise and glory of his name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Father of all mercies, grant that remembrance this day may be consecrated for practical services and the world made better for our children's children. Amen. Shortly we will begin a two-minute silence during which time we will give personal thanks for and remember those who have given and are giving their all to keep us safe then and now. 
The silence will conclude with the last post. Let us remember before God and commend to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in conflict, those whom we knew and those whose memories we treasure and all who have lived and died in the service of humanity. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. Almighty and eternal God, from those whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, either by death or life, hear our prayers and thanksgivings for all whom we remember this day. Fulfil them in the purpose of your love and bring us all with them to your eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Our reading today comes from Isaiah chapter 2, verses 2 to 5. Isaiah chapter 2, from verse 2. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house 
shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills. All the nations shall stream to it. Many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and shall arbitrate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Amen. And may God add his blessing to this reading of his holy word. Let us pray. God of our joys and sorrows, comfort the exiled, console the oppressed, and bring us in joy to our true home where your faithful servants sing your praise. O Father, your power is greater than all powers. O Son, under your leadership we cannot fear anything. O Spirit, under your protection there is nothing we cannot overcome. Almighty God, from whom all thoughts of truth and peace proceed. Kindle, we pray, in the hearts of all the true love of peace and guide with your pure and peaceable wisdom those who lead the nations of the earth that in tranquility your kingdom may go forward till the earth is filled with the knowledge of your love through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. We finish now with a litany of hope. Let us pray with thanksgiving in our hearts and hope in our souls for the future of the world and the needs of all people. For peace and justice in our world. For an end to war and conflict. For the leaders of all nations and peoples and for those who make peace and foster reconciliation lord in your mercy hear our prayer for the unity of all christian people for the church of god in every land for all who seek god and the truth and for all who follow the way of conscience with integrity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the healing of memories, for those who suffer as a result of war, for communities where past wrongs and violence persist, for all in pain or distress and those who care for them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For friendship and trust amongst all, for an appreciation of our interdependence, for the new partnerships between the nations and a world that is in harmony with itself, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Most merciful Father, accept our prayers that we may know your peace in our hearts and your love in our lives through christ our lord amen may the god of power and might make us strong in faith and love defend us on every side and guide us in truth and peace and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit 
be with us all now, this day and forevermore.